Hey guys, it's Fayon here. I'm outside today at one of my favorite training spots and I wanted to bring you through a really powerful loaded spine drill that can really strengthen your whole posterior chain. Now, some of you might be familiar with the famous spinal wave, which is this pattern. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google spine, spinal waves. There's a lot of videos out there and it'll give you a bit of an idea and a starting point on how to learn that pattern. Now, with what I wanna show you today, this is something that you can incorporate once you have gotten familiar with the spinal wave and want to increase the loading and strengthen your spine. So it's called the standing cat cow and you might've heard the cat cow from yoga, you know, when you're on all fours and you're moving your spine in that position. Now this is a standing version where you use gravity against you to really pump and strengthen the spine. So I'll show you what I mean. Even doing a few of those, I can really feel my whole body light up. So I wanted to bring this, or the, I wanted to introduce this tool to you guys today and I'll take you through. So starting from a standing position, what we're gonna do is we're going to tuck our chin. We're gonna internally rotate our shoulders. Gonna bring my ribs in. So to flex the spine from the top half down and then I'm going to crunch in my abs. I'm going to tuck in my pelvis, soften the knees so that I go into a little ball. And then I'm going to open up with my neck, open up with my chest, open up with my ribs. See my pelvis now is now in an anterior pelvic tilt. I open up with my shoulders, come back up and then I reverse. So tucking in the chin, internally rotating the shoulders, crunching down with my abs, softening the knees, and opening up with my chin, my shoulders, ribs, and then reverse. So it's a little bit different to the spinal waves pattern because it is a true global flexion and then extension pattern. So you're really maximizing the amount of flexion you get throughout your whole body and then a full extension. And you'll really feel the difference in when you come down and then come back up, how much that works and strengthens that posterior chain. So might be something that can really help you once you played around with the spinal waves pattern quite quite a bit and you want to change it up a little bit and you also want to build a bit of more strength in your spine as well which is i guess through moving it so not like in a deadlift pattern where you're just bracing the spine but through movement and so do 10 20 reps of these you'll immediately feel it you'll get a huge back pump you know what i talk you know what I'm talking about. And so I've really benefited a lot from this tool. So hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you have any questions, remember just hit me up on Instagram or into the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.